For the next customer presentation, we have invited Vahit Nikokodasian, Chief Digital Officer at Sidel. Very warm welcome, Vahit. And here, thank you very much. Thank you. Yes, and, uh, thank you very much. And we are really looking oh. forward to see how you have utilized configuration lifecycle management in your digital journey uh, between the integration between the, the ACE and the CPQ environment. Very good. Thank you very much for this question. I think like we see in the video, like Cidel is enabling our customer to produce their nice products in the same way the, the configuration like lifecycle management, your products or configured products is enabling ourselves to make our products and, and produce them. So uh, let me start uh, with our uh, key challenges there. Um, uh, I was working with uh, Configit uh, when I was working in uh, CNH industry, I'm speaking about 2011. And when I joined Cidel in 2021, uh, we saw that uh, we have a lot of challenges here. We are speaking here about very fragmented quotation framework because Cidel is a fantastic company which grows on merchant acquisition. And you see that we have uh, a lot of heritage of different systems and all those different systems not, not always was very well connected with the configuration logic. That's why there was complex quotation framework. And our engineers was very fantastic to uh, integrate different piece of lines, different products in order to, uh, to give to our uh, customers the full line, but we was not uh, able to give them the tools to support this end-to-end -end quotation. Another topic uh, which was a challenge for us was that our logical quotation was quite traditional, was kind of cost plus approach. So it was giving to our salesmen the target on mar margin on the cost, which was all, of course, is again, not helping because the modern logic of making the quote is so-called value-based pricing, where we are pricing the value we are giving to our customers, not just our costs. And then very complex quotation experience uh, taking into consider consideration the fragmented uh, uh, framework of quotation, taking into consideration very complex quotation we are doing because we are doing the quotations where we have the part which is configured to order, but we have the part also which is engineering to order. And this is bringing to very, uh, very long and complex time frame for quotation. So we said we have all those challenges. Let's see who can support us and how we can support our business, how we can co-create with our business the solution which will help us to overcome these challenges. And we have said, okay, but what is our ambition? What uh, we are expecting, what, what, we are, what we need to reach? And we say that we would like to expect the increased quality of and efficiency of our pre-contracting activities. We would like to see uh, our pre-contracting fast, value-based, to sell the value to, the, to our customers and to be scalable, to be standardized. It, it should be uh, streamline our decision-making process because uh, today it, it, it was very complex should be optimized quote, uh, should give us possibility to change the quotes in order to adapt uh, the negotiations. And the last one, but it is, I think, the most important topic, to have the single source for all configurable products. It, the, uh, it is the, the most important topic, to have the single source of truth, to, to know that in this system I have everything and, and this is my, uh, my single source. So uh, that's, we said, okay, let's, let's go and let's uh, move to the so-called CPQ framework. And for this CPQ fra framework, we attack the three parts, configure, price, and quote. Uh, and we said, let's start from the front end. And today we are doing a uh, front end, which is custom made front end, which will bring today to our salesmen the possibility to see all parts uh, uh, of our fragmented uh, 
uh, framework of quotation and where uh, we will give at least the user experience uh, uh, the, the common and the, and the streamlined user experience for our uh, salesmen. But we say then, then we need also to change our backend because today we have um, about six uh, quotation systems and we said, okay, let's have one uh, uh, configuration lifecycle life cycle management system. And this uh, configuration lifecycle management system will uh, t t uh, keep the, the, all those parts together. So will be will be there and will be kind of connector uh, of different systems. You know that uh, in in a company like CDL and in your companies, you, we have a different systems. We have ERP system, which are keeping under control our supply chain, making material requirements planning, production planning. Uh, financial activities, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Then we have our fantastic S and P systems where we are doing our sales and operation planning. Uh, our CRM systems where we are managing our customers, we are managing our relationship with them, offers, etc. And PLM systems where we are managing our uh, products lifecycle management. And CLM in this case is making kind of connection of all those different systems which. Each of these different systems is doing very well, a proper piece of activity. But how to link the configuration from all of them? And here, the CLM is, uh, is helping us. And that's why CLM solution today, we are saying that this is a part of our digital transformation, um, an important part, part, let me say, because in digital transformation, what we are doing today, we are adopting the digital technologies and way of working. and starting from CRM when we are doing the offer, but then we have the SNOP where we have to make our planning and our planning is based not only on the orders or offers we are receiving, but on also our forecast. And CLM solution is also helping us uh, to, to make these uh, forecasts and to bring these configurations in our SNOP. So with this CLM solution, we will adopt the digital way of working and digital uh, uh, technologies, all of our end-to-end -end process. Um, why it is important to speak here also about digital way of working. Uh, without uh, this and without the strong integration uh, along all our value chain, uh, we are doing a lot of also manual activities, uh, manually integrating with uh, Excel files, et cetera, et cetera, with, from one system to another. Having all those stuff connected naturally with the CLM is really helping us to adopt the digital way of working, to change our processes, uh, having uh, in mind the best in class uh, processes which are already embedded in the CLM solution. Uh, config it. Why we choose config it then? As I said, uh, we was one of uh, uh, initial customers of uh, Configit uh, in 2011 uh, in CNH Industrial. And in that moment, we saw the, the value of the, uh, of the uh, virtual tabulation technologies. We saw how quick it is, uh, how well it is working also in the situation when you need uh, the offline configuration. And this offline configuration was a must uh, in CNH industrial, but was must, but is must also in our cases because in in a lot of times uh, uh, our customers are in places where we don't have internet connection, so you cannot go there and and make a configuration behind of them uh, using internet. Uh, this is the reality, unfortunately. There are there where you don't have uh, even mobile internet, and that's why the using of uh, of a configured solution with offline possibilities of VT technologies is uh, a very important class. Another topic that this is scalable, and uh, we are very happy to see that uh, the uh, Configit is continuing to invest on making his solution better and better, and putting together uh, uh, solutions which are uh, scalable also with our business. Like I said, uh, today we are not uh, looking uh, for a solution who, which will give us possibility to configure one product. 
we would like to have solution which would give us possibility to configure full line. This is the magic word, configure full line. So to have a possibility, configure one machine, which is then uh, linked to the configuration to second machine, to third machine, and so on and so forth. And, and this is absolutely important for us. This was one of the um, main criteria why we select Configit in, in our case. So possibility to have full line configuration. Another important topic that Configit is, is, uh, uh, has a strong partner network. It means that um, in uh, uh, cases when you don't have internal capabilities to, to grow and immediately to make uh, some projects, you can rely always on partner network and they can help you to, to address um, with already existing solutions in some cases or be very quick to help you to make solution, helping you to make the modeling. And this is also another important topic we are working with. Um, let, let me speak about our future plans and then I will be happy to answer to your questions. So, uh, important topic to uh, start the modeling and uh, within the beginning of next year, we will be able to have the uh, uh, and almost, uh, so our most important products within configure, uh, configured within CLM, uh, CLM solution. And uh, we would like uh, to uh, bring them to all other products lines, and there is a roadmap we will follow. Uh, within this roadmap, uh, we would like to work together with Configit in order to uh, expand the capabilities also to engineering to order part. Let me explain better what, what, uh, what we mean. Uh, in our lines, there are situations where you don't have uh, already defined part you would like to configure. Let me make an example when you, you have to, 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 to deal with customer who need a full line with the conveyor. And the conveyor, uh, you cannot simply configure because it is very related to the, uh, to the layout of plant. Uh, it could be 10 meters, but it could be also 30 meters. So there, there could be different, uh, different topics uh, uh, you, uh, you, you will need to, to manage. That's why we need to uh, find together how to create these uh, capabilities of the CLM solution to manage also engineering to order part. Maybe there could be, I don't know, some kind of uh, ETO items, which will, we can define some parameters, some drivers to quote them, at least at a high level, and then with the, some workflow, which will be linked to the, our system, complete the configuration. Or there could be other solutions, but this is where uh, really we would like to grow and we would like to make sure that uh, this is an important, uh, th this important part is also covered. And I think there are also a lot of uh, other customers could be in the market which will need this kind of configuration because not everything could be um, defined uh, in some businesses uh, uh, like configure to order products. So uh, looking forward to co-create this solution together with Configit in this case. Um, um, I will be happy to answer to your questions, if any. Thank you very much, Vahe, for your presentation and also enlightening us how you have, you know, use an integrated solution to reduce the complicated, complex and fragmented quotation process to a more streamlined quotation process. You also mentioned during the presentation that how you have, you know, uh, ACE has been a part of your digital transformation strategy. So what in what exactly way does your configuration project tie into that uh, digital transformation strategy? Uh, thank you for this question. So, as I said, digital transformation is a journey, journey of adoption of digital technologies and digital way of working. So, uh, our digital transformation strategy uh, is covering almost all processes of our company, from ERP, digital manufacturing, uh, sales and operating planning, uh, CRM, PLM, etc. Today we have uh, the projects almost on all of these of these topics, and having the CRM solution and having the the, the configured solution there is helping us to connect all those systems. Let me make you a very simple examples in PLP. Uh, uh, um, 
in uh, PLM solution, we do have our bricks, uh, our technical bill of materials and rules uh, we have there in order to, uh, to, to put together the line. But then we need to move everything this to close the configuration. After the closing the configuration in a, a CLM system, we have to quote this configuration. I mean, uh, apply also a link with our uh, pricing tool, you know, which will define and will, will price the products according to the value-based pricing logic. Then we have to quote this, close the order, and this order we have to send to our ERP system. And this uh, um, order should become uh, the production order in our system. And this production order we need to produce and we need to sell, et cetera, et cetera. In the meantime, we have to make the, uh, the planning of our uh, capacities. And not only our capacities, but capacities of our suppliers. And there we have to make the forecast of most probable, uh, um, most uh, mo of, of the configurations we can meet uh, in different markets uh, within different timelines. And this also something which will receive the input from CLM solution. So you see that in this uh, framework of different uh, applications, uh, the CLM is there. Coming back then to the second part of way of working. Uh, what I'm, I am asking our business, and this is what we are doing now uh, when, we are, when we are working with Configit, is to change the paradigm. Move from the, from the way that in the past, uh, business is saying, I have this process. Please make or partial the system who is doing exactly what I want. Mm -hmm. So the way you're working, let me say. Now we are going to the new way you're working where a digital uh, function or IT function are peers with business and we are co-creating together. So we are understanding together what solution we have to bring to our business in order to, and to our customer to delight them. And then together we are fi finding in the market the best fit solution. And together we are thinking how we have to change our processes, our way of working in order to make best fit between the solution which is already existing in the market and the, need, the, the processes we would like to implement. So having these kind of solutions which are scalable, which are efficient and innovative is helping us to create the digital transformation, adopt dig digital technologies and way of working. Okay. So, Wahid, so, we, we talked about the CLM solution and CLM project, and but, but how was this CLM project received within your custom engineering culture you have? Uh, good question. This is the direction our engineering world would like to go because we have a lot of projects and we are moving to so-called standardization and modularization. This is the magic word because without this standardization and modularization and then means configuration, uh, the, uh, the business will uh, be kind of craft shop where for every customer, for every project, you are engineering the solution. In order to be efficient, we have to move to the logic of modularization and standardization. And here the CLM solution is a key because having these bricks of modules and standards, then you can configure your product. And then you can go to the industrial world. So Wahid, did you have to do compromises on flexibility of your solution while you are implementing you know, the CLM project? Um, not sure to go to your point, if, if you could re rephrase it. Yeah, it's actually a question from the chat that do you have to do compromises on your flexibility of your solution when you implemented the CLM project? Um, I think yes. I think at the end we, we, we will have some compromises we have to do, especially on our processes. But for the moment, we didn't see any strong roadblock there. Uh, we moved from the uh, all that solution which was tacked on, but not tacked on, uh, which is existing today, because tacked on existing today is is good solution. We are moving from tacked on 20 years ago, and we was even able to make the conversion 
of uh, the uh, the mod modules from that to to the CLM. So this is also a, a good plus on flexibility of CLM. So for the moment we don't see any roadblock there, any any strong compromise. But I'm not excluding that we will have these uh, compromises uh, to 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 find. Yeah. Why? Well, if you look at your current solution, then in which way do you see today that that ACE or the new solution is different from the current solution? And which way is it actually helping you? Okay. So, and uh, again, the remark here, our current solution is very old, 20 years old. So, and in that solution, uh, there was missing some important points. Uh, for example, when the, uh, this option or another option uh, should start and should finish. And it was bringing to the very complex uh, situation of, of management, of creation, of the time of elaboration of the, of the configuration. When we saw, uh, and we did the proof of concept before, before becoming uh, configured customers there, uh, when we make this proof of concept, our engineer was like, wow, this is really game changer because uh, in the past, we was doing kind of six, six weeks of checks and uh, then uh, the, every configuration was running uh, I don't know, hours. And in this case, we're speaking about minutes. So yes, that was a game changer in this case. Super. Well, hey, thanks a lot for your presentation okay. and answering all the questions we had. Uh, I hope that uh, everybody got the, their question answered. And uh, let's move on to the, to the next uh, part of, uh, of today.